Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial with me, Michael Turney. Today we're going to have a look at how to create this cool brushstroke effect in Adobe After Effects. Let's get started. First, click here, uh, the new composition, and we'll call this main comp. And we'll do a 1920 by 1080, 25 frames a second, and roughly five seconds would be good. Click OK. And then we'll create a new solid, Control and Y is the shortcut. And we'll just create a white solid background here. Click OK. And then we'll create a new composition for the brush. We'll call this brush. And we'll make it 200 by 200 pixels, 25 frames a second, five seconds again. Click OK. There we are. New solid again. I will make this 200 pixels by 200. Click OK. And then we'll click and hold our mask tool and change it to ellipse. And then double click that. And it'll automatically mask a circle in this composition. Then we'll go to our effects and presets panel here. If you can't find it, it's Windows, effects and presets, or Control and 5 is a shortcut. And we'll type fractal and grab fractal noise here. Just drag that straight onto the white solid layer. Boost the contrast a bit, maybe to 300. And then we'll keyframe the evolution at the start. And then drag it to the end of the five seconds and maybe move it to like two or three. So we've got this kind of thing going on. Then we'll go to our main composition and jump to our project here. And then we'll drag our brush composition above the white layer. And then we can scale this down a bit. So if we hit S and we'll scale this down maybe to like 40. So this can be the size of the brush. And then we'll deselect everything. So just click off the um, composition here and then we'll grab our pen tool and we'll draw kind of whatever letter or shape we're going to draw. I'm just gonna go with a simple A. So this kind of shape. And then we'll pull this down until we've got our path. Click here and then Control and C or Command and C if you're on a Mac to copy that. And then select the brush layer, hit P and paste that once you've selected the position. And now we can delete the shape layer. And our brush should look something like this. What we need to do now is create an echo. So if we go to layer, new, an adjustment layer. So this means anything underneath this layer will be affected by the effects we're about to put on. We'll go to the effects and type in echo, drag that onto our adjustment layer. And then here we start to play with some numbers. So uh, we want it to echo maybe like 400 times and we'll change the blend mode to minimum. And we're going to try and get the number of echoes as low as possible, but while it still runs smooth on your personal machine. So you'll be adjusting these two top numbers here. So we're trying to get the top one as low as we can, so 0 0.1. And we can still see this, this happening here, so maybe 0 0.005. Click OK. And we'll go to the end of our two seconds here. And if the number of echoes are too low, so we'll put 300, you'll see that it can't actually create the full shape. So you have to keep boosting this number until you've filled the shape. So 450, there we are. You can also adjust the opacity and size of it. So if we wanna press S and then scale at the start, it can be 40. Towards the end of the two seconds, keyframe it to 30. And then the last second, maybe it's almost like the paintbrush is flicked off and now it's at 20. And you can do the same with the rotation and opacity as well. So if we start at 90%, keyframe that. Towards the end, maybe 75. If you're still getting some of this banding, we can just add a quick box blur on there. So if we type into our fixed panel, fast box blur, drag that onto our adjustment layer underneath the echo, and maybe we can just do like a 0.5 of a blur 
And there we are, the quickest and easiest way how to create this brushstroke effect in Adobe After Effects. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and feel free to follow me on Instagram at tierney.tv. Thanks for watching.